Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. Um, what you probably hear is the dryer or the washing machine running in the background. I apologize for that, but this is the way it is. So here we are. And this is Throm. And this is the map we're on. The seed for the map we're playing is Bad Wolf. Because I am the Iron Wolf. And we're going to click in here right quickly. And load up the game. Because we are ready to fight the first boss. We've been preparing for this for a while. Uh, I think we're currently on day 29. And we are here. We are ready to go. We have our weapons. We have our bow. We have our fire arrows. We have our stuff. And we're going to use that. We're going to use the neck tail. And we're going to heal up here. We're going to get our healing all as high as we can possibly can. And then we are going to fight the boss. To do that, we got to come over here and put our offering on the table. And our offering are these guys. So, let my healing come up. This is going to be interesting. There's a lot of terrain around here. And he likes to throw lightning bolts. There we go. Yeah, boost it up. There we go. Climb. We're at 81. Let's go. Let's go. We're at 104. We're good. We'll do it there. 104 is fine. Let's get this on. Come over here. And we will lay our offering on the, on the table. Backing away, backing away, backing away, backing away. He's going to come. He's summoning. And... There he is. Boom! And I hit him with fire right off the bat. Oh, lightning bolt, lightning attack. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt. No stamina, no stamina whatsoever. Ooh. Oh, sparks fly. And he is down. We did it. My inventory is full. Get rid of stupid rocks. There we go. Now that was the boss. That's the first boss. And now we'll go over and we will hang his, his thing on the circle. And we will get our new ability. And we have a whole new level of things to open up. Ah, the raven is here. Return to the circuit stones and sacrifice the trophy and offer the other. The gods, right? Okay, that's what I just said. Thank you for re reaffirming what I said. Thank you very much. Well, that was my little spawn point. I said, just in case I died, I had a spawn point. You set it right close by. Got a bed in there. And then I even reinforced the, the outside of this to take take an attack if something happened. But I had to hide. So, all right. We'll be back in a few minutes. All righty, folks. We're back at the Circle of Stone. And that's where we got to go hang this trophy. And that activates... The next ability. 60 and 60 stamina is re-jump. Oh, jump stamina usage 60%. Okay, and ah. Whatever. Hegan is back to give us more information. And there he 
goes. All right. And now we have the capability. Let's activate the power. And our stamina is increased. All right, folks. Well, now we have to go make a pick and do some mining and start the next journey to the next part of it. So we'll get to work. Hello, folks, and welcome back to the channel. Earlier in this video, we went out and beat the boss and came over and hung the thing up. And so that gave us access to these, which allowed me to make the uh, antler pick, which now means I can do stone. And stone means that I was able to bring in these guys. Furnace and the charcoal kiln. The smelter. Sorry, not furnace. My, my, I got a fire hidden back here because my bed is directly upstairs now. I've knocked out these stones over here. Remember there was a stone over here that was blocking this. Open this up. And that low road, load, that road leads to a load of copper up here. And I'm going to go mine that. And I'm going to run along the edge of the water line and gather around all of some tin and some copper and make some nails and when i get nails i'll be able to get a cart and then this will come into being why i did this we have lots of mining to do so with no further ado i will get back to work oh odenberg's trying to get home again hail and well met Hagen. Hagen, yeah, Hagen. Raw ore needs to be fit and smart. Yes, you need bills. So, yes, certainly, of course. Yes, done that already. Thank you very much. Just a little note, folks. I have a video upcoming that we're going to go into in depth on the mining process. Um, on copper mining, there's a, a hit for it here earlier, and then I will have the next video will be all about mining. He told me that because I'm over here harvesting the tin. This is tin deposits. You find them all along the water's edge in the dark forest. One thing about this game is the fact that these resources don't respawn. So once you've harvested them, they're gone. Uh, so... In a single player game, that's fine. This map's big, you have plenty of resources around. On a multiplayer server, that can be hard to do. It can be really hard to do sometimes. So, but I'm off to continue mining. All right, folks, this is copper. And that is an idiot. As I was saying, this is copper. Okay. Now, what you see here is... Oh, there's way more of this than you, than you see here. Pass some Mr. Ground down around here. Might be able to show you some of it. Yeah, some of it, but not all of it. I mean, this thing goes deep. These things go way deeper. But I wanted to show you what it looked like here. Before we start, and then I'm going to show you the hole that is here when I'm done, and how much copper we get out of it. Alrighty, folks. How you doing? All right, we're ready to get to smelting. We brought in another smelter because we hit a couple more dungeons. We got coal all first up. We went and got ourselves some copper. We've got a bunch of tin in there. We're going to go back and get more copper. But we're going to get the smelting process started. Load up the first tin in there. And drop the other tin in here. Four in here. 
Load these up. No, we got these in this one. I've already loaded these up with coal, so they're ready to start cooking. And then we'll come over here and collect this coal. Like that. And we'll dump it back up in this box here. More some circling cores there. And now this will start cooking off. Looks like the copper's cooking off faster than the... Well, that one did go in a minute or two for earlier. All right. And while that's doing that, I'm going to go get another load of copper ore. Because, well, you know what? I might have enough off of this to make the bronze nails. We'll see. So, we'll be back, folks. All right, folks. It's been a little bit of time. I went out and did a little more mining and came back. And the smelters have been at work. Um, I have a full, yeah, so I'm going to pull up here. So I'm going to go ahead and dump another load of copper. It's a load of copper that is just obscene. And put the best, oh, and I got 10 there. Just trying not to quite to grab that. But we'll grab up the 10, and I'll grab up some copper, and that opens up the forge and some new things. And we'll go ahead and load up the, this furnace again. With that. And put that there. We'll stick that there. Yeah, it's broken. Okay. Now, let's go over here and see what we can make. Alright. Oh, that's true. We have to craft a new piece of equipment, don't we? We have to craft the forge. Alright. We're going to put the forge. I think we're going to put the forge right here. Oh, I need stone and coal and wood. Okay. Alright, I got those. Alrighty. And now we're ready to put this in here. We're going to put it right... Right there. And now we can craft bronze. Torches and other stuff. Right. Yes, bronze, 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 bronze. To get bronze, we need that. Oh, wow, these burnt up. Yep, yeah, okay, so it burned every bit of coal that I put in there earlier to make those plates that I made. Okay. Alright, so that's good to know. Cold stone. There we go. More of that. All right. Alrighty, and let's come over here and make some bronze. Bronze we have, oh yes, bronze nails, that's what we need. Yes, 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 all kinds of bronze tools we're getting. Good stuff, yes. Bronze nails. Cart and a boat. Oh yes. A boat. We so need a boat. Alrighty. I think it's two copper to one ten. Ten is easy. Ten is easy. Ten you run around the shoreline, pick it up all day long. Copper though. Oh. Copper is a bit much because you know it's you gotta go mine those rocks. It's a lot of digging. And this is what I'll be doing for the next Oh, days? <laughs> Probably. Yeah, days. Yep, be days. Alright, folks. Well, I got some work to do. And when I get back, you'll see what I've been up to. So, I'll see you next time. Oh, 
it's a dungeon. It's a dungeon. I can get circling cores in that dungeon right there. I can also get yellow mushrooms. We're going in the dungeon. And in we go. First circling core. When it comes time <clears throat> to start smelting, we will have Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 